Se adesso vi chiedessi qual è stato il momento più felice e spensierato della vostra vita, probabilmente il 95% di voi mi direbbe quando eravamo bambini. Non sapevamo neanche cosa volesse dire la parola stress, riuscivamo a giocare anche con un bastoncino, mentre poi quando cresci diventi cinico, scompare tutta quella fantasia che avevi da piccolo e non riesci più a sognare. E essere felice diventa più difficile, più complicato. Ed è proprio per questo che nella mia ricerca di felicità ci devono essere per forza i bambini. Perché secondo me, in fondo, sono proprio loro che costruiscono la ricetta della felicità. Questo desiderio di felicità è più forte nei bambini che, che l'hanno persa, che, che gli è stata tolta all'improvviso, da guerre che non possono neanche capire, perché in fondo quando sei piccolino tu vuoi bene a tutti quanti. E quindi rispetto ai loro coetanei sanno cosa vuol dire felicità, perché hanno vissuto sulla loro pelle cosa vuol dire il contrario. Ed è per questo che oggi sono a Beirut. Perché sono ospite alla Fondazione Caniani che supporta i bambini i rifugiati siriani e gli dà un futuro attraverso l'istruzione. E sono davvero contentissimo di essere qui perché oggi li vado a incontrare e gli farò le mie 10 domande e sono curiosissimo di vedere cosa mi rispondono loro. Perché saranno risposte completamente diverse da quelle degli adulti. Lori? Ok, sì. Yeah. E lei, e lei. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, nice to meet, nice to meet you. Welcome to Lebanon. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Giuseppe. Hi. Hekman. Hekman. So, where are we going? Yes, so now we're going to Beka uh, to see our schools and we'll do a visit to the camps as well that are located right next to the schools. Can you tell me in few words? All right. What Kayani Foundation do for, for these kids? Yes, sure. So Kayani Foundation is a Lebanese non-governmental organization. Uh, we provide free education to the Syrian refugee children in Lebanon. We started in 2013 after the war that happened in Syria and we had a lot of refugees here in Lebanon, especially in the Bika Valle, where all of our schools are located. And we started to build our first school, it was in 2014. Until now we have nine accredited schools. We, uh, we teach quality education. Our concept is to help them to graduate and to find opportunities and for future uh, career in the future for their own um, improvement, for their professional career and life as well. You provide everything for free for these kids? Yeah, we provide the, um, education, the most important thing, and school kids, the bags, backpacks, books, stationery, and we even provide them with food, uh, like uh, one meal per day, the healthy meal per day, and everything is um, offered to them through uh, trainers and professional uh, trained people. How many students do you have in, uh, in the foundation? So far we have uh, around 4,500 Syrian refugees. 4,000? Yes. Yes. So the first stop of today will be in the refugee camps, right? Yes, definitely. What should I expect? How is the, the condition? I mean, they, uh, they live in a... Yeah, a, like it, uh, it will be quite emotional for you to see the, the, the kids. Uh, most of the kids will be in schools, uh, uh, for sure, and some of the parents will be working, but mainly women will be at home, uh, maybe cooking and uh, waiting for us, because they already know that we're going. I, we just sent a message that we're on our way, so they know that. Yes. We're going now to enter into the camps uh, and get an idea so that you see how they usually live here in the camps. I didn't expect it like that. Yeah. A person who is the manager of the tents of the of the land, he takes care of everything. Okay. So we're going to meet with him so that he give us he gives us the access so that we can enter and okay. take photos and film videos. Shall we go with you? Yes, let's go. Thanks. Hello, <laughs> Behind these mountains, there are uh, the it's the border. So if you if you cross the mountains, you arrive to Syria. So when the war when the war started, uh, and Syrian uh, people started to immigrate and move here, this was their first local place where to the, they arrived. So this is where they settled, and now they have this informal tented settlement where they live. And this is where the Kayani Foundation idea started, so that we uh, started to create schools right next to the tent for these children so they start to go to school and get their education for free we have schools for kids like most of them they go to primary schools for example now you see it's um, in the morning 
and they are here because they go to the school. Their, <laughs> their school time is the PM shift. Hello, marhaba. They're very welcome. Yes, super welcome. I didn't expect it. مرحبا اهلا وسهلا جايين ناخذ صور نسرق الافكار اللي عم بتعيشوها اهلا وسهلا مرحبا اهلا وسهلا ما تاخذونا بلا ما تاخذونا لا تفضلوا هون انتم كمان ما هيك and this is where they also sleep How many how many people كم عدد هون بتعيشوا خير والله 12 شكرا 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 And they eat here. I mean, yes, it's, yes. it's everything. Yes, yes. everything. Living rooms, yeah. uh, bedroom, everything. Yes, yeah. Do they have a toilet here inside or yeah. it's outside? Yeah. Uh, it's outside the house. So whenever they want to go to the toilet, they just go outside the house. Uh, it's, a, it's a public one. Yes. It's for everyone. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, if I can, yes. <laughs> yes? مرحبا هاي يو ار كوكينج رايس رايس شكرا شكرا على راسي ما بس ما تنسونا ابدا ضلوا تقعدوا عمونا شوي What does it mean? Don't forget us and keep supporting us. Marhaba. Keep going. Marhaba. Would you like to enter here yes, as well? Yes, yes. Put the camera. All right. Shukran. So this is the room where they sit and they sleep. So these are the couches that they use. Sometimes they put it on the floor to sit or to sleep on. They have a small bird as well. Oh. <laughs> How many how many people uh, sleep here? Five. Five. Okay. They have a small toilet here. Mm -hmm. And the kitchen. What's the? Ah oh, no, they have a sort of toilet. And this is. This is the shower. They use it to, yes. to wash yeah. or to wash the 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 the. Both. Both. This is the water access they have for everything. Okay. Shokran, shokran. Taking that to his mother so that we can ask some questions for him. Let's 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 see if we can. Hi, Ah, she's saying that daddy is sleeping, so okay, let's go. Okay. It's okay, Mali, خلاص خلاص ما بدنا نزعشكم. مرحبا. Qui il tetto è bassissimo, devo stare proprio con le ginocchia piegate. Ma intanto mi stanno seguendo tutti i bambini che sono qui. <ride> Ciao! 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 How many people live here? Okay, we have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of people who live here. We have a lot of during summer if you can feel like outside it's even hot and here yeah. it's cooler it's because cool. they use this to protect themselves and during winter uh, they also have materials that they cover so that they protect themselves for uh, from 
the rain and snow. They had to leave everything. وتركتوا كل شيء عندكم هناك. ترى شو بدنا نسوي؟ هم شيء طلعنا بروحنا يعني شو بدنا نشيل يعني. بيوتنا طلعت كل كل شيء يعني. They had no other choice. They had they barely saved their lives, so they couldn't take anything with them. They left everything there. هم شيء الولاد يطلعوا. The most important thing was the kids to stay safe and to leave the war. She desired to go back to. عم بيسأل إذا بيهمك أنت بتحبي ترجعي تروحي على بلدك على سوريا؟ لكن الواحد كل واحد بيحب يرجع بس لما بيرجع بيرجع على شيء قدامه يعني بيرجع على خرابة يعني شو بده يسوي؟ على اللي هون عم يعني نشتغل اللي بيشتغل بيشتغل يعني معيش نحن بس اللي بده يرجع هناك بيرجع على خرابة؟ يعني بتفضلي هلا أنت تبقي هون؟ أنا مفضلين إنه باقيين هون على اللي معيشين أولادنا مدارس هون شوي يعني ماشي مدارس هناك حتى المدارس قليلة يعني ديك من ديك ما في مدارس شكرا أهلا وسهلا their stories are really emotional and really sad but they're really strong and they always have this hope on their face even if they're living in a hard situation and as you can see they are very welcoming to people who are interested and uh, want to know more about their life their stories they're always there to tell you more about themselves so that they you guys get to know more about them and understand their lifestyle and see that they really need your support and help and everything that they can make them happier. Yeah, I feel like they are grateful yeah. that someone is uh, keep telling these stories. Uh, they, it's like they are grateful that I'm filming. You're giving some value. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sometimes I feel that they're happier than me because they always have this hope. So when I look at them, I see their smiles on their faces. So it makes me happy as well and when I see them going to school and see that these kids that are living such a life and at the same time they're going to schools, it makes me really happy. So it's a mix of feeling. Here, so now they're running to their school. Ah, they, are, they are happy to, to go to school? Yeah. Okay. Wow. School? Happy? Happy. Anche io correvo così quando dovevo andare a scuola, ma dall'altra parte però. So this school is called UNESCO Middle School in Saad Nayel. It's a mixed school. We have male and female. The ages start from 14 to 18 to 20 years old. We will be meeting with students from different ages where we gathered from different schools. So we're going to meet in the classroom and continue our day. Yeah? Okay. Do you speak some English? Yes, actually, because we te we, they learn and we teach them English. So, But we have to remember and understand that they were illiterate and they started from zero. So they, they are in the process of lear learning English. So they might understand you very well, but in order for them to cooperate and to communicate, it might be a bit difficult. That's why I'm here to help you. Just great, right? great. <laughs> Hi. 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 These are all the kids? Yes. How are you? Oh, good, oh, good. What about you? What's your name? Giuseppe. Giuseppe is my name. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Italy. Italy. Nice country. You know my country? Yeah. 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 What's the capital? What is the capital? The capital of Italy is? I thank you everyone to be here to my experiment. Yes. Let's yes. say it's a magic experiment. It's so okay, I'm glad, I'm glad. <laughs> and uh, I'm here because I'm traveling around the world mm -hmm. to discover if there is a formula of happiness around there. And if I find it, I will share it with everyone. But I'm here because I want to interview you about happiness. Because uh, I think you can help me a lot. And if you help me, at the end we will have a sweet surprise mm -hmm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. So I created the questionnaire. It's a, it's a magic questionnaire of 10 questions. You don't have to study to answer to this question. All the answers are right. Okay. You yeah. just have to answer with your heart. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay? Yeah. If you answer with your heart, you help me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Well, sure. Yeah. We will answer. Perfect. Okay. 
Good, let's start. Who wants to help me? Okay. Here you are. A little bit of pen. Okay. E chi me lo doveva dire che un giorno sarei stato dall'altra parte dei banchi facendomi aiutare dei bambini siriani per trovare la ricetta della felicità? Grazie a Nara e ai suoi fiori, che hanno il profumo della felicità. Grazie a Mohamed e al suo sorriso. Questo per lui è la formula della felicità, sorridere sempre anche nei momenti più difficili. Grazie a Gassani, che mi ha spiegato quanto la scuola sia importante per lui. Non c'è niente che lo renda più felice che poter studiare. Grazie a Omar, questo piccolo metto alla mia domanda cosa vuol dire morire per te mi ha risposto non ho paura di morire, perché tutti quanti moriremo. Grazie a Fatima, che ci ha fatto commuovere un po' tutti quando le ho chiesto qual è la tua paura più grande. E lei in lacrime mi ha risposto non poter più studiare. E grazie a Galia, alla domanda qual è la cosa più importante che possiedi mi ha risposto la vita. Se c'è la vita, hai tutto. E grazie, grazie a tutti voi ragazzi, mi avete insegnato a dover apprezzare le piccole cose prima di perderle per sempre e realizzare quanto fossero importanti. Ho capito che la felicità non riguarda solo grandi ambizioni e grandi successi, ma è riuscire a vedere ogni giorno la magia anche in quelle piccole cose. Shokra. Ah, dimenticavo, ovviamente la sua surprise non poteva che essere 